Хорошо. Юри, don't worry. He loves me. He waited for me, didn't he? Okay. in Moscow send their love, you filthy double-crossing thief. <laughs> Bastard! Put your clothes on. We go to airport now. You didn't tell me you were gonna kill him! You want to go to the United States, we take care of you. Business is business, and love is bullshit! my guest for the party at the Canadian Council Mansion. Yeah? Oh, there will be more hot young ladies that you can shake your stick at. <laughs> oh, we can go to your party afterwards and get shit-faced. No, I have to go. Yeah. My new boss is making a speech at night. Okay. Yeah, let's meet here in the parking garage. Half an hour? No, second level. Okay, bye. Sometimes, huh? You better not get away. I 
too much to do. Well, anyway. Marlene, that trampy outfit's gonna cause an international scandal. That shameless cleavage, it just isn't decent. You better keep your eyes on the road. Don't keep flirting with every dude old enough to drive. Ease up, Mom. You think I'm desperate or something? Disappoint us, my troop. Moscow source tells us you want to leave Russian consulate. You are not what in America they call Tim Player. I paid your organization for getting me to America. I never promised to do any of your dirty work for you or your Yankee partner. You should show a little more respect for your American host. You could choke to death. <clears throat> I feel bad. Look, uh, to show you there's no hard feelings, you can have your car back. And you can have your job back, too. Come on, take it. Fuck you. You want to teach you manners? <laughs> <laughs> Better count your blessings, my Druk, and tell your new boss to be there. What happened? Oh, nothing. <coughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's move on. I cannot miss Kaslovsky's speech. I need this job. Even if I'm a glorified tour guide. Well, if I don't get laid at that soiree, you're a dead man. Davai, did you teach lesson good? Follow him for a few days. Make report to me. Da. Somebody get an ambulance. I can't believe these assholes. They think if they can scare me, I'll go back to work for the consulate. They were here to make a point. Big one.
Hello? Alexei. Of course I remember you. The dashing Russian. Oh, tonight I'm seeing some friends in Beverly Hills. You would uh, be welcome to join us. I'll call you later. Bye. So, what sort of car did you drive back in Moscow? Mostly a bicycle. Until I came here, I never knew what a Lamborghini looked like. How long have you had it? Oh, a couple of months. He's really rich. Yes. He comes from money. His family have tons of loads. Well, go get it. My cars don't last that long. I drive a little fast. I must have totaled about nine or ten. Well, I've totaled my drink. Ready for a refill? What are the chances of getting a drink? Help yourself. Have you ever been to Moscow? No. But I'd love to go, you know, one day. Me too. Yeah, it costs quite a bundle. Yeah, but that's not it. I can leave because I don't have a visa. But I can leave, but I can't come back. Why? Well, you see, I worked for the Russian consulate, and I had a diplomatic passport. But uh, since I decided to quit, I'm here kind of illegally. Really? Hey, you two won't miss us. We'll be right back, OK? We might as well go home. I bet they're out getting some coke. You're not into that stuff, are you? No. I'm more of a vodka type. Well, I think I can dig some up at my place. Can I come in? Sure. You need that strong cup of coffee for the room. Well, I don't drink that stuff, but uh, what about that vodka?
I have to tell you something. Yeah? What? I'm married. Why didn't you tell me that before? Would you let me get close to you? So where, where's his wife? In St. Petersburg in Russia. She wants to finish her law school. You're not upset, aren't you? Upset? How old are you? 35? 32. There you see. It doesn't work anyway. I met my wife at school. We had to get married. We were very young. So how do you feel about her now? I love her, but uh, I'm not in love with her. Don't you miss her? She comes to New York sometimes, stays with her sister. To what? Do you feel attached to me? <laughs> You're welcome. Drink, my friend. Nothing like a good bell to start the day. Get out of my bed. Your new boss. How much he pay you? It's none of your business. Now get out of here. No, no. We have how they say um, loose strings. You and I business to finish. We pay you double, cash. You just cooperate with us a little bit, huh? Look, you've mistaken me for someone who gives a damn. Now I'm late. Marshal Vaughn. Sorry about your uh, boss. I heard he lost an eye. The lovely new lady you have just met, Miss Malian. Oh, my God. Oh. She would look so terrible with jacket scar across lovely face and only one eye. <laughs> Excuse me. Would you like me to get rid of these bad boys for you? I think you are in the wrong room, lady. Bugsy, 
remember? When he stood out in the middle of the desert and said, uh, that's where my casino is going to be. Well, that's where my house is going to be. We don't need two houses. Aren't you forgetting something? What? My wife. Well, I hope she meets some young, ambitious law student in her class, falls madly in love with him, and waves goodbye to you. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> ah. go to the Buddhist temple with me. You should at least just try it once. Yesterday I gave an apple light and already it looks so much better than all the other apples. Paula, you know how I feel. I don't believe in that stuff. Okay. You know what this is? Refund check from the IRS. Hey. <laughs> see? No, don't you see? That's because I gave you light yesterday. Now come, let me give you some more light. Carla, you've given light to the entire house. The cat, the dog, the driveway. I think this chanting is going to your head. Why do you say that? Because lately, whenever there's something good happens, it's because you gave me light. And if there's something bad that happens, it's because you didn't give me light. Nam your horing, Nam your horing. I'm calling the attaching spirits. Come. There. Do you feel better? Yeah. Much. Come on, let's pick out. Nothing else, you're gonna meet a lot of men here. I can't believe you're still with Alexia. I mean, how do you do it? Us younger women have the hardest time holding on to anyone these days. Especially somebody as cute as Alexia. Well, you have Tony. I don't have Tony. I buy Tony whenever he needs coats. I buy his sex. Don't you see that? But what about Duane? Coke? You're making this up. They all love you. Love me. They all love my coat. Maybe I should find some fat old rich man to keep me in the style I'm accustomed to, huh? How can you even say that? And then again, maybe Alexi likes me only for my money. You're joking. I'm joking. Come on, let's play golf. This is ridiculous. How is wrong now? I'm not hungry. You're always hungry. Wait, what, what about the papers for the immigration lawyer? I don't give a damn about the papers. Why are you so mad at me?
this it? Are we breaking up? I never thought a relationship could break up over politics. I don't give a damn about politics. I don't care if I'm Russian or That's Polish not or... That's I know you very well. You are proud to be Russian, from Moscow. No, it's not the Just point. Just like I'm proud to be German. Doesn't mean I'm proud of everything that every German ever did. But it's important where you're born. If I had to be African and they gave me a choice, I would be Egyptian. Egyptian? Yes, Egyptian. They had a great past. None of which makes me a Nazi. And you shouldn't have that. Hello. Да. Минуточку. to read this. You will learn Russian. I'll teach you. I'm sorry. Here, what do you want? I don't have all day. We have something very important brewing. You come along with us on this one, and you can work anywhere you want. This is very big deal. A lot of American dollars. Big bucks! <laughs> you see nice containers here? All we need for you ship containers to Moscow. We'll tell you what to buy. 10,000 warm, beautiful ski jackets. Jackets. This is legitimate? And what am I going to use for money? Miss Marlene, your girlfriend, she's a businesswoman. She can handle it, and uh, we'll pay the other half. You will get from us $100,000. She will pay rent. And then you're going to steal the containers. Just for a little while. And what if I say no? I treat you like son. You make good profit here. How you can say no? You mess with us on this one, Alexei, and uh, you're going to have to find a new set of friends. I could be a new friend. Хорошо. Beautiful work. Очень красивая. Well, it looks a little like Marlene, huh? Too bad. Nobody's ever going to find out who did this. Do for us these little export chores, please. Or imagine precious Marlene floating on front page in a headline photo for another unsolved mystery. Hi. You need some help? 
Madam, you have beautiful store, only surpassed by your incredible face. <laughs> Thank you. Well, did you see anything you like? Yes, a couple of things. Um, I, I noticed sign in window. My niece, she is fine sales girl. Would like have job. Uncle Nikolai, I have mouth. I can speak for myself. I have a very good experience. Chardonnay, right? <laughs> yes. I haven't seen you in weeks. Are the Russians coming tonight? Yes. The Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. How have you been? Hmm. My boyfriend left me. Oh, the truck driver. Too bad. But then, you know, he was gone all the time anyway. So is your Russian. The Russians are making headlines again. Oh, right. My friends in Moscow tell me that the time is ripe for exporting to Russia. Why, they think you have a secret stash or something? <laughs> I'm going to get my settlement from the UN any day now. I'm going to buy a couple of containers of whatever they need in Russia and voila. Хорошо. Хорошо? Хорошо. Хорошо. Да. Хорошо. I'm taking on partners. Do you have any money? Do you see any money laying around? <laughs> well, too bad. I'm going to get rich all by myself. All my old school friends that stayed behind are driving big cars now. I don't know. That's okay. I have a couple of friends who want in on it. Well, maybe I could take out a loan. My godmother, she works for the ministry. And she will tell us exactly what to buy. Are you in? What would she like us to buy? Jackets. Winter jackets. By the time they get there, they will be freezing their asses off in Moscow. I know there's a men's wear show in Vegas. I'll check it out. Hey, partner. <laughs> people out there, Russians, who marry Americans just to get their immigration papers. I know that. I need a visa. You know that. <laughs> so you want me to marry you just to get a green card? 
What about your wife? Actually, I was thinking you could adopt me. Are you out of your mind? No. It would work. It would be quite believable, can't you see? You, my son. You don't love me at all, do you? Oh, come on now. What's the big deal? It doesn't mean anything. It's just a piece of paper, for Christ's sake. Marlene. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I could kill myself for saying what I did. I don't care about anybody's age. I even cannot count that high. Come on, say so. Go to hell. And don't come back. <laughs> Alexei came back in town last night with a magnum of the most beautiful Russian champagne. <laughs> oh, you're a pushover for anything Russian. Hey, I'm trading with Russia now. I made a loan to go in business with Alexei. What business? Look. We bought 9,500 of these for Russia. Why didn't you just pull the money out from your factory? Are you crazy? A hundred thousand dollars? What if this whole thing blows up in your crazy face? You think Alexei is a crook? No. No. I just wonder how you can trust Alexei with all that money. He seems honest enough. And I like him and all. Especially for a lover. He's not my lover. We are in love. Besides, he's already sent his half of the money to the supplier in New York. How do you know? I got a fax that says that he sent them $100,000. Still, I don't want to alarm you. But what if they're all part of some Moscow setup? Like who? The supplier. Oh, for Christ's sake, Julie. I went to Las Vegas myself. I picked Charles and Charles out of hundreds of suppliers. They are an all-American company. Are you willing to lose your home and your business over this? Who's the gorilla? Uncle Nikolai. Excuse me, Lena is my new hotshot self girl. Good day, beautiful ladies. Uncle Nikolai, meet Julie, my best friend. Julie, I am going to teach him tennis, and he'll teach me Russian. <laughs> you look great. Yes, growing longer. Think so? Mm-hmm. You like it? Oh, chin. Could I see what yet? You'll learn Russian. Yeah, thanks to my new sales girl and her uncle Nikolai. Look. We're in business. Malex Enterprises. Oh, you got your loan approved? I got the money. We're not going to blow it all, are we? No, don't worry. Easy for you to say. You didn't hop your house. You know what just came to me? Our company could sponsor me for immigration visa. You could write a letter saying that uh, you need my special language skills for your import-export company. 
Isn't that slightly illegal? Slightly. Should I set up an appointment with my immigration lawyer in the morning? Sure. Go ahead. Flowers for Miss Marlene? Trust with you, Mr. Petrovich. Remember Mr. Smith, Nash Americanski group, American business man? Now you have new business. Do you like new business? Three containers full with jackets, what you say? Now you meet other American lady with help from my Americanski group. No problem for such a good looking guy like you. You ship more containers, you get rich. You get rich. You stay alive. Nobody needs funeral flowers. Hello. Would you like to wrap these for you? Yes. Uh, no. Send these to this address. Ну я не могу понимать, как это случилось. Да. Ну что ты можешь сделать? Ну да. Я позвонил тебе позже. What's wrong? Our freight forwarder in Moscow has delivered our containers to the wrong address. Oh, don't be upset. There's no such thing as smooth sailing. It's no big deal. They will have to pick up the containers again and bring them back to the warehouse of the ministry. How can you be so calm? Stop swearing. The company our containers were delivered to is run by gang. And they don't want to give them up. What about the ministry? Don't they have any cloud? They don't want to get mixed up in the private business. What are we going to do? We'll get them back eventually. Only by then it's going to be spring. And the jackets are fucking winter jackets. We'll be in the hotel in a minute. Where are you taking your Russians tomorrow? Disneyland. Mm. I love Disneyland. I wish I could go. When are you going to be off tomorrow? I can't see you for the next two days. You're going to Hawaii in two days. You mean I'm not going to see you at all? We'll have the whole night together. Gee, thanks. Why can't I see you? I have to be with Misha from the Moscow office. He's in this group. You told me that Misha was not exactly one of your buddies. Well, we are a lot closer now. We've become friends. I'll stay at the hotel. At least we can spend the night together. You better forget that. I don't know how late it's going to be. I have the keys. You'll be home eventually. We might be spending the whole night out. A boys' night out. Why are you so attached to that group all of a sudden? Why don't you give it a break? I didn't like to answer to my parents, and I don't like to answer to my wife, and now you. 
Did I have you for a while? God damn it, how did I get myself into this? Don't go. Come on, I'm sorry. We practice Beckham, yes. Uncle Nikolai, I don't have time for lesson today. I lost my wallet. I have to go back to the hotel. Oh, no problem. I, I wait. Um, okay, come in. Make yourself at home. In casa su casa. No worry. Take your time. Would you put these in water, please? Yes. ¿Cómo está? Bien, señora. Did you maybe not make up this room yesterday? Maybe Alex is sleeping? I no remember. You change the sheets all the time? Sí. So does Diaz. Sí, señora.
up. So I called Alexis lawyer and I told him I must stop the proceedings for his visa. I just said, the company doesn't need an interpreter anymore. Won't it take him years to start over? Yeah, won't it take me years to mend my broken heart? Where is Alexei? In Hawaii. Having a ball. You raked him over the coals, I hope. Not yet. But he'll soon find out that something's wrong. <laughs> what does that mean? He gave me $6,000 in cash. He didn't want to drag it to Hawaii with him. So I wrote him a check for it. I'm not putting money in the account. Cover it. But you could go to jail for that. And what do you get out of this? Insurance. He cheated on me. What is this also cheating me? What is there are no containers in Moscow? You're overreacting. Alexa is not cheating. I want him out of my life. Back so quickly. I stopped my immigration procedures. Yes. Why? Because you cheated on me. You lied to me. Why should I help you anymore? What do you mean? I went to your room to look for my wallet. The morning you left for Hawaii, I found my wallet. And I found hair. A lot of hair. You always told me that you weren't fooling around. I believed you. You lied through your teeth. Why did you bounce the check? What do you think? How do I know there is still a container in Moscow? I never could do such a thing. Where I come from, business is sacred. What you did is the same as stealing money. You stole my money. What you did is theft. Why haven't you answered my call? I want you out of my life. It's hard to explain. What's there to explain? You fucked around. No, I didn't! I fell in love. You can't imagine what it was like in New York. 
that you had to leave for Moscow. We didn't hide our feelings anymore, we couldn't. See, she is a doctor, she is married. They live in Siberia with her two small children. They have children? Yes, but we discussed this possibility of her leaving her family and uh, us getting a small apartment in New York. But she would leave her children behind? Well, I even thought about leaving America. We're going to this godforsaken place in Siberia where she lives so we could be together. What about your wife? You cheated with both of us. Late. You better go. You can take my car. Why don't we take a ride back to my office and we'll clear this mess up and I'm here to make you drink. You've got our containers in your warehouse. Very neatly sealed. You know, you are a very smart man. I mean, everyone knows that even in Russia, you need papers to get things out. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a second chance. Is it a deal? I'll find a way to deal with you. What are you going to do? Call police? You don't have Hitler? You want to get thrown out of country? Igor! You take him to Mr. Smith's office. Now!
It's great to see you. How is New York? I missed you. How's your wife? She's fine. Um, how's your Siberian woman? Fine. You think you'll ever see her again? I saw her. Where? In Chicago. I went there with the group. I thought she could never come back from Siberia ever again. Well, she has some relatives in Chicago. How did it feel? Was it like back to Chicago? It was nice. We had dinner. All of us. You weren't alone with her? The place was very crowded and I felt bad for her, so I offered her my hotel room. Oh. No, no. I left before she got to my hotel. I had something to do that evening. I never went back to the hotel. That doesn't seem right. She came all the way from Siberia just to be with you. Yes, she did, but I... Uh... It was different. I didn't feel the same anymore. She's in you. So much for undying love. things with the left eye. We made up. Is he in town? No, he's in New York. Marlene, how can you take it when you know he's with his wife? I just try not to let it get to me. Marlene, you've got to start seeing other men. I love him. And he loves me, too. I know that. It just doesn't make sense. Come on, let's play. How could you do this to me? I thought we were friends. Sure, we're friends. But your note was due a month ago. I asked you for a little bit more time. In the lending business, we have to go by the book. You uh, could always sell your antique collection. I'll have it appraised. You can't do this to me. I'll pay this off somehow. You should have thought of that before you lost your head over that heel. How dare you talk about Alexei like that? It wasn't his fault the containers fell into mafia hands. Mafia hands? Oh, really? Are you sure? You'll have your money in two weeks. Surely you can wait for two weeks before you can get your hands on my pewter collection. Oh, there you are. Where are you going? Moscow. Moscow? I have no choice. With the lactite. You know he can't leave the country? Not until he gets his visa, which I canceled on him. So he can't go? That's right. He can't. But I can. And I'm not gonna let those sons of bitches steal our jackets and get away with it. What sons of bitches? And you always have to swear? I didn't want to tell you. The company that has the containers is run by the Mafia. Mafia? It's some Russian Mafia. And now that they have them, they don't want to give them up. 
They do have laws in Russia today, don't they? Sure. Some people even obey them. But not the mafia. But what if this whole story isn't true? What if Alexei and his family sold the jacket and kept the money? <laughs> Come on. Serious. I am serious. I'll be fine. I speak the language a little bit. Marlene, you're not going alone. I'm going with you. Really? I don't want it. So <laughs> I always wanted to see Moscow. And die. You will accomplish nothing. Already, we negotiate for quite some time. They guard offices and warehouse with guns. Much better we come with you. These people are not normal businessmen. No, we think it's much better if the two of us just go by ourselves. We'll convince them that the containers are ours. I brought all the papers to prove it. I tried to get help from government, but government does not want to help us. Containers were delivered to wrong company by shippers from the United States. Just like it belonged to them. Yes, here in paperwork says that they are the consignee. I know. Our shipper goofed. But they haven't done anything so far to help us. If we don't get these containers in our hands soon, we'll run out of cold weather. Oh, we will wait. We'll all sell jackets next year. That may be fine for you and your Alexei. But Marlene here borrowed the money. Do you have any idea how much interest that piles up to be? <laughs> Mrs. Petrova. I have a lien on that house. If I don't pay that back soon, I risk the house and my business. Look, we need the address and the directions to get to this warehouse. But you cannot go alone. Please, how can I make you understand? Понимаешь, it could be very, very dangerous. So we'll be careful. Don't worry, there's two of us. If you insist. Just trying to scare the daylights out of us. I'll bet your precious Alexei stashed all your jackets in her warehouse. Here is a dress. It is outside the city. Thank you. Пожалуйста. Please call me here. I need to know you are all right. I will. We promise. Счастливо. Счастливо. До свидания. До свидания. What's he about? He said, don't worry. I asked him to wait, but he wants to see Buck. But wait here. Here. There goes our guardian angel. And our stinking ride. Great. We'll get bargain cargo rates for the flight home. Body bags.
I need it. It's really incredible. I hate to burst your bubble, Missy, but you got ripped off. Feel these fillings. They're all hard and lumpy. Look at this shoddy craftsmanship. Oh! Oh, my God, we're rich. Oh, my God. We're dead. That's it. I've had it. I want to go home before we both get crapped down some big Russian toilet. Marlene, shut up and get that flask out of here so we can really escape.
face from that. No, wait. Don't shoot. It's not how it looks, you see? Shoot him, you low light. Not so close. Look out! Where did you learn how to shoot? Come on, they'll be on our backs any minute. Go, go. I'll call the police. Militia? Da, we put all the pieces in the party. I'm attached, remember? you out. Please spare me. <laughs> well, you had your chance. I'm going to go take out the pilot. You might go. I went back to my wife. She told me she fell madly in love with a judge. Twice rich. Your ex-wife must be a very smart woman. And if you're looking for an American meal ticket, forget it. 
Oh, my God, you're going to get us both arrested? This is not what you think it is. This is the real stuff. The first load of jackets sold to the Ukraine chain store, $130,000. The rest of the jackets will get stitched back into shape, and bingo! How did you sneak on board? Oh, my godmother turned into a very good. The ministry was good for something after all. <laughs> but for something more permanent, I don't see any rings. 